I'm here at the Joint Information Center, or the JIC, and I want to talk to you about residential water testing. Over the course of the last several months, we've been asking residents of the City of Flint to get their water tested. Now there's a whole separate testing protocol that we use to determine the safety of the entire water system. That's getting underway now, but it's still critically important that we have every single household in the City of Flint tested in addition to that. And that's because each home is unique. It has a unique service line, unique plumbing, unique soldering, unique fixtures, and so it's critically important that we have information to, to ensure that every family has a safe drinking water supply. Now, how have the tested, tests been coming in so far? First of all, total tests in 8,952. Of those tests, we've seen about 82% that have come in at less than five parts per billion, which is ideally where we'd like to see it. There's 93% that have come in at less than 15 parts per billion, which is the federal action level. That means that we've got about 7%, a little less than that, that is above 15 parts per billion. And of that, 1% that is very high. The uniqueness of these results, or the diversity of these results, underscore the critical importance of having your water tested. Now I want to show you a map that shows every residence in the city of Flint that has had their water tested. Green shows those that are under 15 parts per billion, and red shows those that are above 15 parts per billion. So I have an ask. If you have not yet had your water tested, I want you to go to one of the fire stations, the water pods, and pick up a residential water test kit. It's got the instructions right on it. If you follow these instructions, bring it back to that same place where you picked it up, at the fire station, and we'll put you on the map. Working together, we'll get past this crisis. Thank you so much.